Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to begin the creation of our real world application, uh, creating it using the MVC design pattern that we discussed over in the lecture portion. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, though, some things that I did in preparation to beginning this set of exercises, I cleaned house and I started anew. So I'm using a brand new LifeRay workspace, created a new LifeRay instance, started it up, connected that LifeRay instance to a MySQL database so that if I wanted to take a look inside, I could. So if you want to do that, feel free to do so, but you don't have to feel free to use everything that you've already done up to this point. I just want to start clean. So first things first, let's create a module project that's going to contain the rest of our modules for this project. So head over to file followed by new, and we're going to create a new life ray module project. We have to give this project a name. Let's call it gradebook and watch your spelling here. Our exercises are very dependent that we spell things correctly. For the project template name, we're going to be using the service builder project template. Once you have those two things confirmed, go ahead and click next. Uh, we need to name the package that all of our classes and so forth are going to be living. So we'll call it com.liferay.training.gradebook. Can, can't stress this enough. Make sure that you spell things according to as you see it in the exercises. Once you've confirmed everything, go ahead and click finish and let the project create itself into the modules folder. It might take a little bit of time if this is your first time. So uh, you'll see a progress bar down here at the bottom right. Uh, mine already completed, so I'll go ahead and move forward. So we're going to be using Service Builder. And again, LifeRay is tool agnostic, so feel free to use whatever tools, whatever sort of technologies you feel you're most comfortable with. Again, we want to highlight what we do at LifeRay and give you an idea how we do things. And if you want to use the same technology we do, feel free to do so. So over in the gradebook service module, we're going to be heading over to the service.xml. And this is the mastermind of creating the model layer using service builder. So I've already navigated over to the overview tab. It did that for me automatically. If you're not there, feel free to head over there. First thing we're going to do is highlight service builder up here towards the top and changing the namespace to gradebook like so. If you want to add your name under the author field, get the recognition that you deserve, feel free to do that. I'll go ahead and leave that alone though. Next thing we're going to do is get rid of our sample entity here. So go ahead and highlight foo. You can hit the delete key or this red X like so to get rid of it. And let's go ahead and create a new entity. This is going to be our assignment entity. So be careful with spelling here. Again, make sure everything is spelled correctly. We're going to want to have both local services and remote services. Make sure those two checkboxes are checked. Next thing I'm going to do is click on this arrow that corresponds with assignment. And then we're going to select columns. Let's go ahead and add the default columns like so, clicking on that link creating a bunch of columns that we at LifeRay feel are things that you would typically expect in an entity that we're creating. So again, highlighting the group ID and the company ID. Group ID is the site ID number. Company ID is the ID number that corresponds with our LifeRay instance. So two very important LifeRay specific attributes or columns here. Let's add a couple more. So clicking on the green plus button here on the right hand side, we'll add another column. We'll call it title. Let's double click the type section here. You'll have this little browse button and you can then select the type of this column. In this case, we're going to be having this title as a string. So you can type string or look for it. And very good. Okay, next up, we're going to actually head over to the source tab. What we want to do with the title is make it so that we can provide localization or in other words, have other languages be displayed with the title. So here, right next to type string, we're going to add another attribute localized equals true. 
Again, make sure you spell things correctly, things are formatted appropriately the way that we see it over in the exercises. Since we're already here within the source view, feel free to add a couple of other fields as we see fit. Uh, we're gonna be adding a description field and a due date field. So I'll pull that from the exercises. Okay, so we're down here and let's pull that here. I'll go ahead and create a copy and we'll paste that right there. Now I'll just format this like so and saving the file along the way using control S or that Apple key S if you're on a Mac. Let's add a couple of other things here. So heading back over, right? The next snippet that we're adding is letting our service builder project know, hey, I wanna be able to order the assignments that we're creating based off of the title in ascending order. Again, saving along the way. Right, next up is finder methods. So if we wanna be able to search or query these assignments, how can we do so? And so we're defining within Service Builder, hey, we can search for these based off of the site ID or in programmatic world, right, the group ID. Saving along the way. And this last portion here, we'll be using a little bit later on. This is going to be helping us integrate our assignment into LifeRace asset framework. So we'll add this here since we've already been doing a lot of work here within our service.xml. We'll talk a little bit more about these later. And then for validation purposes, we have to have an exception. Or I should say for validation purposes, we're gonna have the exceptions. So again, that will come up a little bit later. All right, let's do a double check. So double check your code in comparison to what we have in the final code review here. And I'll do my quick double check, making sure everything looks all right on my end. And I made one mistake here. We should move this exception part outside of the entity. There we go. I'll save the file and we can move this comment here as well. Once you've confirmed everything looks correct on your end, let's go ahead and build services. So we'll head over to the right hand side with our Gradle tasks, head down to modules, to our gradebook module, and we're gonna go over to the gradebook service under build. There's a lot of different tasks here. We're looking for build service. So head over here, make sure everything is saved, and then we'll double click build service. You can also do this at the root level of the project as well. Uh, the choice is yours. So you can see here, a lot of things happened once we ran Service Builder. It created all of the necessary classes and services, as well as the entity object that we defined in service.xml and also created the SQL statements so that we can actually have these entities exist within our database. So very good. Over here on the right-hand side, Gonna go ahead and do a Gradle refresh. Again, just in case, I always like to do my Gradle refreshes as often as possible. Usually when we're running Gradle tasks like Service Builder, always good to do your Gradle refresh so that you can see everything updated. All right, very last part here, this is going to be setting the stage for later on. So we're gonna head over to the build.gradle of our gradebook dash service and just confirm that everything that we have here lines up with what we have over in the exercises. At least on my end, it looks like everything here is the same. So I'm just double checking between my two screens just to confirm that. Once you've confirmed that on your end, congratulations, we've just ran our first service builder project and thus created the framework of our model layer. Next up, we're gonna be 
working on the model layer a little bit more, implementing our services. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.